I'm Steve Alford. I'm currently the head basketball coach at the University of Nevada. I played four years in the NBA. I played three with the Dallas Mavericks and one with the Golden State Warriors. And in the Olympics in 84, I was actually in the starting lineup in the gold medal game and we were able to win gold. And to have, you know, Chris Mullen and Michael Jordan in that backcourt, that, that was a special time, you know, for me in my career. And I got released by the Sacramento Kings my fifth year in and Tanya was pregnant with our first child. I retired from the game and was out of basketball uh, for about a month and then Manchester College came calling that year, that December in 91, and I started my basketball coaching career. So I knew basketball was gonna be a huge part of my life. I had no idea that I would have played at every level um, and now coached at the Division Three level, moved on to the Division One level and be over a thousand games coached in my career. I would have had no idea that this was gonna be the path. I've been blessed in, in incredible ways through basketball. I never wanted basketball, as important as it was, playing or coaching, to define who I was. It's just something I did. I hope the identity of who I am as a Christian far outweighs what I do in the game of basketball. When you move to a different area, finding a church home is, it's always been something that has been priority number one for Tanya and I. We'd heard a lot of great things about Grace just through the university and people that have attended here. I, I love the fellowship, I love the music. I love Pastor Dan and how he voiced the scriptures. He has meaningful, biblical tone to him and everything that he teaches on is from the scriptures and I don't think that's across the board throughout the country in churches and I, I just related well to it and then Tanya started visiting and uh, this ended up being you know, our church home and it's been uh, it's been a blessing for us. Tanya was in Calabasas in the LA area trying to sell that house. My job was to find a home here. So I kind of had that leash of kind of find what you want and I knew what kind of home we wanted to get but a man cave was probably at the top of the, the deal. And the man cave was about where can I swing a club? Where can I watch my TV? Where can I work out? Where can I have my personal time just doing things? And it's turned out in a man cave to really be my meeting place with God. And so what I thought was gonna be more all about me has turned into something that is about meeting God. I think this pandemic has allowed me to get into my quiet time and learn it is about him and my identity has to be through him and about him and for him. It can't be about Steve Alford, a basketball coach, or Steve Alford, a basketball player, or that. It's gotta be about how am I growing as a Christian. And now my challenge as things start to get back to a little bit of normalcy, can you stay that same routine? I had an All-American workout that I devised as a player. It was called the 50-minute All-American workout. And I learned to do it every single day. My dad told me, if you really want to be a great basketball player, give me two weeks of 50 minutes every day. And if you can do that, your habit will happen. And through those two weeks, a habit will form and you'll see yourself getting better. And I did. I started seeing my skill get better. I started becoming a better basketball player and I started doing that over the next seven years. And so when the pandemic hit, I'm like, I'm going to give a good 50 minutes every morning to just diving into to God and hearing what he's got on my plate and how he wants me to grow. And now as we start coming out of that, and now that's my challenge is that can I keep myself diligent and keep myself on my knees and keep myself growing in Jesus. And uh, I'm hopeful for it, but it's, it's gonna be a challenge as well. Through this, God has brought families closer together and hopefully he's brought people closer to him as well, because I think that's ultimately what needs to come out of this. So in these three months, I think there's been a togetherness even though our lives are with Zoom and a lot of different things going on, now as we come back into fellowship, can we understand and strengthen those relationships to understand how important relationship is? It's not about isolating yourself. It's not about all about your faith. It's about how you grow your faith and expand the kingdom. Well, I'm very excited about the future. Obviously, it's new being in Reno, and this is fun for Tanya and I and a community that we love. And we're excited coming out of this. Uh, I know I've had great personal growth, and I'm excited to see where God is going to lead me and the position he's going to put me in to hopefully make a difference in my family's lives, but make a, a huge difference in the culture of our basketball team and a community that uh, we're having a lot of fun with.